Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first ever vlog, so hopefully I don't go on too much, but I'm just here to show you some of my new techniques, so let's get started. Hi guys, my name's Ruby and I'm a Romany Gypsy and I'm here today to talk to you about coping with online hate. Social media can be great for keeping in touch with friends and family, but it can also be really draining, especially if you're basing your self-worth off of how many likes your last post got or comparing yourself with others. But as well as this, what if we are more prone to online hate because of our cultural identity or ethnicity? Us travellers are now so deeply rooted into society that people walk past us every day without even realising. And yet the media still continues to spread lies, saying we're strange, exotic, even criminal. Take a look at some of these examples gathered in just the space of a single week. The sad fact is that hate is always going to exist. But if you see something directed at you or at somebody you know, then you can report it. You can block people too. All apps and sites work differently, but generally, if you block someone, they can't get in touch with you and they can't see what you're posting. Another thing which is important is to keep evidence. Don't respond to nasty comments on photos or videos. If you do decide to tell someone, then keep screenshots. Hate can often stem from ignorance, so I like to hit haters with facts and figures. Give out an alternative point of view. Here are my top three mythbusters that you can use when misinformed people target you or your community online. All gypsies and travellers live in caravans. Actually, this is wrong because only a small percentage of us still travel all year round, despite local media representation of us. In the 2011 census, it was found that 61% of us are now living in houses. We feel this is because of the government implementing new legislation, which makes nomadic lifestyle difficult, and also because of the closure of ancient stopping places. Travellers commit more crimes. There's no evidence for this, and actually all communities will have minority members who will commit crimes. Gypsies and travellers are no different. Gypsies and travellers contribute nothing to society. Well, actually, gypsies and travellers have been part of British society for the last 500 years, and many died fighting for their country in both World War I and World War II, and continue to contribute today. And, well, do you recognise any of these famous people? They have gypsy and traveller roots. Look, I know the amount of hate out there can leave you feeling angry, lonely, or even depressed. But just remember, you're not alone. You need to look after yourself. Talk to someone you trust about how you're feeling and stay off social media until you feel it's safe to go back. But I'm glad to see you got your earrings back in. Now, your mum tells me you're going to be doing one of these vlogs. <laughs> it's called a vlog, Gran. Come on then, my little Rosie Ann, come on then, show me how all this works. And there you go. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe.